welcome to Florian Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got something a little bit smaller, but is it? Uh, which poses a question we're talking about at the moment. So anyway, what have we got down here? We've got the Zvezda. This is the 172nd SS26 Stone Missile System. Now the reason I say about scale is, is that to be honest, some of these trucks are getting quite big. Um, as I said, we see manufacturers such as Hobby Boss, always brings to mind, bringing out these huge big launches and that. But a little bit like the aircraft world is that scale, um, where do you put them? They're taking up a lot of room. Obviously they're big, impressive builds and everything else like that. But if you haven't got the room, it's better to probably have a smaller scale and look through. And to be honest, when I think of armor, I traditionally think of 135th scale because that's the scale I pretty much build everything in. Um, so when looking at 72nd scale, you always think, well, that's going to be tiny and small. But a little bit like doing strategic bombers or airliners in the aircraft world, you automatically think of perhaps 144 scale. Uh, perhaps now we should start be looking at sort of in 72nd scale for the bigger missile launchers. So obviously the stone system like this, we've seen the chassis a bit with various other uh, things on here before in sort of 35th scale but that is a little bit big so perhaps 72nd is where we can go so I thought what we do is get one of these kits in have a look and see how much detail we get on these smaller kits so looking around on the box we can see it's Vesta's uh, kit as you can imagine the Zvezda have come on leaps and bounds over the last few years uh, so I'm hoping this kit is going to look absolutely fantastic so a quick run around on the box we get a size thing so this thing is going to be uh, 18 centimeters long so it's probably the same sort of size of a 35th scale normal tank okay so that gives you an idea of the scale of it we can see we get some things 247 parts in there and a quick run around on the box we see kit number for this one is 5028 some of the other things they do and then on the back we can see it so you've got two stone missiles in the uh, on the erector obviously then you've got the cover which goes over as you can see down in here so one would assume you can either have it in the deploy position uh, or in the stow position just like that as you said it looks fantastic detail on the box art here on the back so we are going to need a knife because this is a new and sealed kit and we'll see if we can get it out of the box because, as always, Zvezda doing their box in box way, and then this always fights me trying to get these out. So, we are going to have to go in both ways and pull this out. Zvezda do have a, a history of doing this to me with pretty much all their kits now. Okay, so we can pop this thing back together quickly and we pop that in and then hopefully we can get this to stand up we'll be all right there we go all right so i was saying this is that sort of box in box technique and then we are greeted by a bag of olive drab plastic okay some rubber tires clear parts and decals and then obviously the all important instruction sheet okay so i think what we'll do is we'll just start on the instructions first as always okay so uh like we were saying it looks like we have two options as we said before you can either have it version one which obviously is all the stowed or the ready to fire with the stow missiles uh, on the erector you can see at the back just like that so making sure we've got all this in all right so usual thing we've actually got the sprue placements okay working our way through as you might imagine you've got the drivetrain and obviously the suspension and the chassis system all being put in down on the central back piece lots of parts being added to this one as you might expect so we're not lacking on any detail steering mechanism uh, and obviously all the drive shaft suspensions things like that being fitted down onto the back the wheel hubs being fitted on we've got a couple of fuel tanks being fitted okay and then we're back over to the cab so we've got the actual engine system with a cooler radiator off the sides okay and then putting in this rear compartment uh, down in there just like that so that's looking very nice indeed rear compartment being fitted down on there the sort of you know engine transmission system being fitted down in there and then it's working on the cab so it looks like we get quite a good detailed cab as well right the way through okay then we've got the floor plan uh, being fitted down on there as well so that's all going in okay and then obviously the sides uh, with the sort of you know the catching baskets things like that for the actual missiles being fitted in there and then obviously fitted down underneath the chassis to these upper parts being fitted in stone missile itself going together pretty straightforward couple of halves and fins on wheels and tires all being fitted down in there then you've got an option here uh, this is obviously for the feet 
uh, to come down for the pads. Uh, obviously in the launch or the stow position, depending on which way you're going to do it. And then again, this will launch or stow position down on here, okay, which is a really nice touch with that one. Okay, and then obviously if you do are doing it ready for launch, we've got the erector put up there as well. And then obviously you've got decal callouts and colour callouts, as you might imagine, just on the back. Pretty straightforward. It's going to be green everywhere. All right, so that's very nice. We've got the obligatory sheet. Okay, so we will start in the decals and the clear bits. Okay, decals, we've got a generic decal sheet, so you've got all your numbers in there to make up any version you want. And obviously we've got the Soviet uh, markings down on there like that, so that's straightforward. The glass is flat, so you'd expect, and it is pretty much just crystal clear, no problem at all. And pretty much being flat glass, you're not gonna have any problems with any of those on there like that, so that's pretty good. Okay, if we get this back in the baggie, get it in there, there we go. Oh, come here and get under the pickles. Okay, so vinyl tyres, you can love them or you hate them, but they are here. Okay, so we have got a seam and an interesting tread pattern you might be able to see on there as well, which actually isn't too bad. I think by the time you got these off, um, my technique is basically hit it with a sanding sponge. So literally just come out of these and just sand the hell out of them everywhere, the tread, around it, everything, with a medium sort of sanding sponge. Once you've done that, I tend to use my fingers and the oils off my fingers just to polish up the side walls, things like that, and then away you go. That way it's got the grip then to be able to take pigments, washes and stuff like that around there. Also, I'm not a fan of giving them a flat coat because they tend to crack over time and stuff like that. So that's the way of getting around those. But generally, they have got a, a seam line running through them, but it's not so pronounced. And I think the way uh, it's hidden in the track and in the tread isn't a problem. These tires are solid. They're not hollowed. They are solid. So that might give some problems. But generally, I think we're okay. My only sort of concern is, you might see it on this one, there's a bulge. You can see it on the top there. Hopefully the camera's going to play ball but I don't understand why it's got a bulge on the top like that it looks like none of the others have and then um, just see if it is just a one-off on mine and it looks like it is because it's not on that one we would expect these to be exactly the same just two of yeah that's a uh, that's a little bit weird, that small, got a bulge definitely there, but obviously when we flip this over, this one over here hasn't, but definitely something going on the top of that tyre. But uh, again, yours might not have it because it's only on one of those, and I assume they all come out the same thing. Okay, so, into the screws themselves. Okay, make sure the bag's clear. All right, so we've got quite large Sprues, again, sort of olive green uh, plastic right the way through, looking round. Got a little bit of flash here, there and everywhere, but nothing on any of the parts uh, that's going to make any difference. There is a little bit of bearing around on this one as well, but again, it doesn't look like it's on the parts. Uh, so just generally looking round on it, and then obviously on the close-up, if we have a run round the sprue, you can see, actually... They're all quite nice. Lots of detail, especially on this transmission one running through the, the length of it. And you can see we've got some nice detail down on those. And on these parts, all of it is very nice indeed. And what we were saying about the, uh, have they got the detail? To be honest with you, so far, so good. You know, I presume this but should be checkerboard. And it certainly doesn't look like it, but actually it feels like it. And I think by the time it's got a wash on there, and it's going to take a wash quite nicely. I think it will look okay. Okay, we do have a little bit of gauze, a bit of mesh down here as well. I didn't spot that before. Okay, that'll be for your radiators. And what I'm going to do is slip that in there because I think it will be a lot safer in the baggie than not. Right, we're assuming this is going to be a match pair, which is is so we've got a match pair on these two so this has got the stone missile system actually on it which is obviously all raised details right the way through no problem with those at all and again looking around on the close-up clear sharp nice detailed parts these wheel hubs again nicely done no problem with that at all good level of detail on all of those 
the stone missile, pretty devoid of most things, but as you imagine, you're not going to see tons on it. And then round on here, you can probably see all of the smaller parts, very nice tooling, the way they're attached to the sprues. No sign of flash or anything really on there. There's no sink marks at all. Uh, ejector pens are pretty minimal, uh, so no problem with that. Okay, a little bit more on the bed uh, of this particular one. As you can see, we've got lots of things for the front and rear. And again, level of detail on all of this with the anti-slip here. You can probably see it in the, on there. It looks pretty good indeed. We've got the racks on the back, the bumper. Okay, looking on the underside, I assume that is. And then the side detail, as you can see, for all these hatches and all the, the bays under here, they're all very nice and good, sharp detail. It's going to take a wash, no problem at all. The bed, as you might imagine, is quite flat. And then again, this is that, uh, one would assume it's hollow. It's actually supposed to be mesh or sort of grated fencing or something. I don't know quite what that is, but it seems to be okay. Got a nice tooling mark under there. Looks pretty good. You see the tooling, how it's made nice as well no sign of flash or anything else and then finally down here we've got some of the cab various parts which is looking very nice indeed and then again looking around on these clean crisp got the front all the glass is going to go in for the windscreen uh, some of the actuators the mirrors things like that again really very nice indeed with all of these parts and again, the ejector pins either slightly recessed or definitely on the plane. Okay, so they're not sitting proud at all anywhere. And there we go. I think that answers our question. We're thinking, is it on the same level of detail as what you might find on the bigger kits? Absolutely. I can't really see a lot of difference between the two. I think if somebody was to hand me that and, you know, looking at it on from a 35th point of view, I don't think you're going to get much more detail on a standard kit as what we found down in here. That's on a part of anything I've built 35th scale. So yeah, I think this now answers the question. If you are thinking about doing some of these bigger special, you know, obviously transporters, missile systems, things like that. They are quite large. They do take up a lot of room, not to mention the cost of the kit. It might be worth now having a look at some of these great new, especially the new stuff, like the Zvezda 72nd uh, scale line of kits for these missile systems, because they do look really, really nice. And again, you're still talking about something that's pretty much going to be the size of a normal 35th scale tank anyway, just to give you an idea of the size. Apart from, I have to say, the only thing I'm picking out on, if you look at the tread system on the tyres, which I think looks more realistic, down on these uh, to be honest I think that's what it should be that's not what we've got because these are more like studs uh, rather than cubes so I'm thinking that's probably what it should be and that's what we've got um, yeah and I think perhaps those are a little bit off but apart from that I have to say it looks to be an absolute gem of a little kit something I would look forward to building and I can see myself doing some more of these smaller ones like this in the very near future so there we go that is the Zvezda the SS26 stone missile system as always it is available from the PM store if you want to get yourself a bargain pop along and have a look in there Thank you.